they sprinting away. Land of Legends just jumped out for a stride and Triptronic therefore had to be taken up. Knox, Black Sleeves and Cappers right there in the early vanguard. A wears around them. Harry Pepper, the White Blinkers is right there. Salesman, Red Sleeves and Caps scrapes paint two of them. Ferdinand the Bull hard against the steel. A wears in the blue silks. Harrison will race towards the inside. Macdessie's three around but only four and a half lengths off them. Triptronic is the trailer. Knox has the call by three parts of a length. Harry Pepper with long lengthy strides has moved up second. Salesman just waits patiently. Mull race to the inside. Aware's in the blue. Ferdinand the Bull travels well between runners. Two lengths to make up. MacDessie's now shopping for a way through. Coming to the 300 salesman. Knox is under big pressure. MacDessie's got nowhere to go. Aware runs on towards the outside. Harrison. Aware in the blue. Salesman. Trip. Tronic with a big run on the outside. Triptronic aware. Salesman Harrison. Mac Dessy gets through and that's the one to beat. Mac Dessy burst through to beat Triptronic. Away ran third and then came Harrison. Mac Dessy was just looking for the gaps to open and they opened at the right time. Well, Mac Dessy for the Scots, Colin Scott, Robbie Scott, Kelvin and Gobble brings him home. At the 350 meter marker was just waiting for a gap. Triptronics also the other hard luck story. He was impeded at the gates. He was probably a length and a half further back than he wanted to be. But Mac Dessy, he just rises to the occasion. He's as game as they come. And when he put his head through that gap, he absolutely flew. Number two, Mac Dessy. Well done to the Scots. The son of Galileo has notched up his fourth victory. Trip. Tronic runs an absolute blinder in second. Aware third, Harrison, Ferdinand the Bull, Land of Legends. Then came Harry Pepper. As for Knox, we heard the confidence wasn't really there. It was going to be a run to bring him along. And something obviously amiss there inside the last 200 meters. He trailed them. Turning for home, let's look. Mac Dessy's behind Knox and Triptronic comes right around. But look at Mac Dessy being shuffled around. He's got absolutely nowhere to go. Head sideways. He comes out. Triptronic heads him. But once Mac Dessy gets into his stride, look at that finish. He would have been a most unlucky loser. Triptronic, a few will feel also at the gates there. But he runs an absolute cracker in second. But number one, Mac Dessy. There you'll see the rider, the big salute. And he's very chuffed with himself. The gap opened and it shows you how game this son of Galileo is. His name is Mac Dessy and he'll be in the winner's box. Well done to all concerned. We'll see them in the winner's box in the next minute. Back to the studio. Oh, welcome back, uh, Gravel Race 6. Sorry, I was half asleep there. I didn't hear anything in my ear uh, telling me to speak. So anyway, let's get into it. Number two. Mac Desi has come to come forward to win the sixth race over 1,200 meters. Colin, I was just chatting to you off, off air. This horse has been going 1,600, 1,400. As soon as you put it over 1,200, I sort of uh, shied away a little bit. I thought, you know what, it, it won't uh, enjoy the 1,200. But going back and looking at its form, it beat Salesman over 1,400. We shouldn't have ignored this. And uh, what a top ride. Sure. Listen, uh, yeah, at one stage I thought he got boxed in. I didn't think he was going to get a run. But, uh, yeah, he's got me a bit confused, this horse. You know, he... Uh, he should get further, but uh, maybe, you know, maybe this was, because this is probably the best he's won, you know, and uh, by Galileo, I, th I thought he'd, he'd, he'd want a lot of ground, but uh, we opted to run him here because he's in the chapter challenge. Now we'll have to decide whether we run him in the mile or the 1200, but uh, lovely win. Well done to Robbie, and it's been a lovely little horse to own. Yeah, I must say, this is, uh, like you said, uh, probably the best uh, field it's uh, uh, met to date. And it's beat a, a decent field here. So, yeah, you got the decision to make. But, yeah, on that run, if it sees another gap in the chapter challenge, it's allowed. 100% looks like that'd be the right type of race for him. Oh, great stuff, Colin. Well done for having the winner. Cheers. Thank you. Out there, we've heard it uh, from uh, Colin Scott. Uh, let's uh, get uh, the apprentice in. I must say, that was a top, top ride. Uh, just stand a bit closer here. I thought uh, as it got down to the final 50, as soon as that gap opened, Mac Desi just took off. 
Yes, uh, I was boxed in a little bit. I saw that gap open. I didn't hesitate. I just went for it and he ran on nicely. All credit to Mr. Scott. You know, he said try him over the 1200, see how he goes. And uh, I was also confident that he ran a good race, but he fought on nicely and he won it. I'm very thankful to him. Good luck to Mr. Rob Scott back at home, to, also to Pops, Mr. Scott's father. Good luck to him and the whole team. We've been working a lot on make this year and I'm very happy that we came and won. Yeah, I see you've uh, ridden this horse uh, on many occasions, so you, you've got to know the horse uh, really well and uh, you've had a couple of wins. Yes, uh, I get along quite nicely with this horse. You know, I ride him every morning and it's a pleasure to work with Mr. Scott and to work this horse. So I'm very happy for him. Congrats on uh, the win. It was a, a, a very close finish. Yeah, it was very tight. I panicked a little bit when I got boxed in, but once I saw that gap, I just put my head down and rode him. Your face lit up. Yeah, as the gap opened, uh, I, I knew I was going to win because he was traveling. Lovely stuff. I eh? enjoy the win. Thank you very much. A good big thanks to the Academy, Riding Masters, and all the staff. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Great stuff. Thanks so much. Uh, there we've seen it from all the connections. Number two, Mac Desi, getting a bit of a... Uh, yeah, and a bit of an applause there from his uh, supporters. The four-year-old son of Galileo, MacDessy, has done it for the Colin Scott yard. Well done to Rob Scott and to the jockey for a really exciting finish. Top ride as he saw the gap flew home to get up uh, on the line. That was the sixth race. We'll see you back, Gravel Race 7.